<laughs> you guys welcome to splat and chat we are gonna paint today we're gonna paint a red poppy and it's gonna be lots of fun i have this poppy on my it's a shop it's one of my paintings and it's a whole field of poppies so if you like this one poppy we're gonna paint get on there check that out see how i painted it into a big field or order a print of it for yourself if you like it so here is our red poppy today i have it finished before i even start that's magic the magic of film just the same way that my hair is going to magically change from straight to curly in a few minutes. I'm magic like that. Yeah. And you're magic too because you can take a blank canvas and turn it into something like this. Are we ready to go? Yes. Are we ready to feel? Are we, are we ready to paint us a red poppy? Baby? Here is the color palette for this painting. We've got a black, a yellow, a light sea sage greenish color, a brown and a red, vibrant red, just like my necklace. Our normal three sets of brushes, big, medium, small, paper plate palette, a little bit of paper towel, any kind of dish you want to put your water in to rinse out, and a, pa a canvas. I'm using a small 8x10 canvas, but you can use a large one. This one is a 16x20 to do it. Or you can go big. You can go really big. Whatever you want. Or you know what? You don't even have to paint on canvas. If you want to paint this on a wall, go ahead and paint it on a wall. If you're the mom. If you're the kid, don't paint on a wall. <laughs> it would look cool on the wall. It really would. Today, we're going to paint this way. We're going to do long ways. Hamburger ways, is that what they say? Hamburger hot dog ways? Let's open it that way. That's how I'm going to do it. So, load up your big brush with some red. And we're going to come right about here, and we're going to take our brush and just play it on, place it on there and do a swoop like that. Okay? And then we're going to put right next to it the big brush at the same level that we had before, and we're going to swoop it down in like that. That's a petal. Okay, cool, right? Same thing over here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna start it a little bit farther away from that one. Swoop it. Start it on the same plane and then swoop it back. What you're doing is you're just making these U-shaped, U-shapes petals. Okay. Come down in here and we're gonna start it this way. Come up like this. And start on the same plane and bring it in. So it's like a U-shape. That's what we want to do is a U-shape petal. Okay, so we got three now. We're going to do one more down here. Start there. Come in like that. Same axis. There you go. There is our petals. We're doing four petal poppy. Rinse out this brush real good. Set it aside. And I'm going to grab my medium brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of black now. Okay, a little bit of black. And you're going to start here at the base of your petals and just bring out a little bit of black up into your... Black goes a long way, so just start easy. Go easy on the black, okay? And bring a little bit out here into this petal. Okay. I'll wipe out a lot of that black so it's just not hardly any there. I'm going to come and do this one. Just get some black right out. You can turn your brush to the sideways like this and do skinnier strokes or do a big long way like this. Okay. Get a little bit more black and come up here and do this petal here. Now, if you put too much in, like I've said before, just go back and get some red and repaint over top of it. Okay? No biggie. There we go. Okay. Come back in with a little bit of white. Same brush. And you're going to go with the tips of this. Start at the tip and just drag down a little bit of white. Okay? Red poppies. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole patch of red poppies by my house. It kind of springs up in the spring. 
and I love it. It's so cool, see? It's blooming. Okay. So, like, you know, load your brush up and do like a good chunk. Like, ooh, see? I love that. Good chunky spots like that. Okay, I'm gonna soften that on the sides there. See that? Get that brush rinsed out pretty good. I'm just gonna load up half my brush by just dipping a corner of it into the black and kind of just, you know, kind of cleaning it out a little bit so it's not such a dark color. And I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna kind of take this and follow a petal along like that to kind of make sure that that petal stands out from the other one. Putting the black on that side. Just gonna have to decide where your petals, which petals are gonna be the ones that stick out from the other ones. Too dark, so I'm gonna go over it again a couple times. Making sure that it's the color I want it to be. Just basically getting these petals a good separation from each other. Run a little bit of black along those lines. This one needs a little bit more. All right. If you see a spot that you need to put a little bit more red or a little bit more color back into, just add a little bit of stripes. Now, the fun thing about poppies is that they are kind of papery like the petals. So a lot of paintbrush texture in there is going to look cool. Don't be afraid of that paintbrush texture. Okay. There's a cool poppy, right? You can just play with it and play with it and play with it and play with it. So from there, I'm going to add a little bit of a black center. I'm just taking my brush and put, just dabbing black by picking it up and taking it off. Dabbing black on there to cover all the white in the middle. I'm going to take my smallest brush right here, this bad boy, dip a little bit of yellow on there, and dot it just a few times. With some yellow. Then we're going to give it a stem, and Poppy's going to have a wiggly stem. Use the same brush to do the stem. It's just going to come down, and very delicate stem. If it breaks apart, that's fine. There's a stem for a Poppy. Trick of, get, trick of getting a nice straight fine line is to just make sure you get a nice sharp brush and rinse it out. And add a little bit of water to that uh, black paint or whatever paint color you're going to be using. Alright you guys, so I decided that the, the white needed something. It was a little too adult, so I took this kind of a um, greenish grayish color and I washed it into the edge of my painting. I'll just show you again real quick how you do that. You just wet your paintbrush down, dip it in some green, that greenish grayish blue color, and I'm really watering it down. And then I just kind of brush it into the corners and drag it down into my painting. Make sure you get around your whole canvas. Make sure you're painting the sides because that always looks better when you do that. It looks finished when you put it out. So anyway, I'm just putting it into the corners like this. You can see that. I'm brushing it down into my painting. Okay, and I kind of did that all the way around just to kind of bring this really in focus here. And then I kind of washed a little bit of white right where my blue, bluish greenish ended and into my white spot again, it's just so it kind of softens it. Made it kind of a focus a little bit. I think it needed something. I don't like the just plain white behind. I didn't like that, but you you might like it. So do it the way you like it. And I also kind of put these hidden little poppies in the background there. I just got a really light wash of this brown of this gray green. 
color and a lot of white and I pretty much just put a football shape. I'm gonna show you what I did. Put a football shape back here. Okay, because I want these to be like way off, like people don't even really see them. So add a little bit more white to that. Okay, so these kind of football shapes back here. These are just like poppies that are way off in the field, way off in the distance there. And ran a squiggly line up and down for the stem. Now that's too much for me, so I'm going to lighten it up with some white. I just want it to barely be hiding back there. Drag that all the way down. Okay, so it's kind of just off in the background there a little bit. And then also when I came in with my white over top of my poppy, sometimes you'll do that. Sometimes you'll paint something and then you think, oh, that needs a background, and so you have to paint the background over top of what you painted. And that's understandable. I'm just come back and add the things that it needs to have to finish it up. For example, that black stem needs to come back on a little bit more, so just add it back on. Okay. Paintings are all about evolving and saying, does that look good? Does that not look good? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't look good to you. Maybe like, maybe like the poppy kind of dissolving into that background as well. That's just kind of up to you what you want to do. I'm going to kind of blend that little bit of white to that stem. That poppy's way off in the background there. There's a poppy back here, if you can see that. I'm going to do another little poppy right back here. It needs three, you know? It needs three. Three things in threes always look better. Right there. And then do a little quickly that comes off. And your stem doesn't have to be perfect down there. You're going to get a kind of trail off of the whatever. Anyway, I want the focus of this to be that one red poppy. All right, you guys, here she is, all finished. Beautiful, confident, all by herself poppy in this gorgeous field. And uh, she looks good by herself. Plus that, sometimes it's really nice to just be by yourself. You know what I mean? nice to have nobody else around, peace and quiet, just be your own. So, finish, finish. We'll put this up, put it out in some place that looks really cute. So if you want more of this, you want to see more of my paintings, uh, keep checking out. We get a new one. I'll put a new video on every week. Check them out, subscribe, and um, let me know what you want to be paint, what you want to paint, and I'll paint it for you. We'll figure it out. If you want a whole field of poppies, check out my Etsy store link and you can see the whole field of poppies or you can try to create your own by looking at that. Happy painting. Happy painting. Happy painting. Your turn.